When it comes to creating a resume, many people focus on listing their responsibility. But if you want to stand out to your potential employer and be one of the best out of all the candidates, then you shouldn't be doing that. Instead, you should be highlighting your accomplishments. What do I mean by that? Let's find out. A big part of your resume is your past experiences. Your past experiences become a very important way to show your value to your potential employer. Now, rather than listing your job responsibilities, oh, I managed an Instagram account or I managed a team. I was responsible for managing a team. It is important for you to quantify your accomplishments. Now, be it in an internship or a part-time job you took up while you were studying, instead of defining your job role, take time and list down all of your achievements. Okay, let's take an example for instance. Now, instead of saying that I handled sales acquisitions for a company, I would rather say I generated 10 lakh worth of sales revenue through various content strategies or through various lead generation strategies. Or let's take the Instagram example. Instead of saying I handle the social media of some company, I would be saying increase Instagram engagement by 20% by using specific content strategy. You saw what I just did there. By highlighting my own accomplishments, I was able to value myself in front of my potential employer. By showing the kind of impact you've had in your previous job roles, you're able to show your potential employer the kind of impact you have in your new one as well. Now, how can you do this? Here are five points for you that will help you highlight your accomplishments in your resume. Number one, list your accomplishments. Make a list of all the tasks that you were responsible for in your previous job role or internship. Number two, Ask yourself, what did you achieve for each responsibility? Think about it. Did you somehow lead a team of seven people or two people? Or did you generate sales revenue? What did you do during your job? Think about the outcomes of your work and not just your work. Number three, quantify your accomplishment. Bring numbers to the conversation. It sounds much better when you talk about how many people you handled or the percentage of Instagram engagement you were able to increase at your time in your previous role, rather than just talking about how you handled something. Number four, begin each bullet point with an action verb that quantifies or that describes your achievement. Instead of saying, I was responsible for managing a team, say, I led a team of 20 people or I led a team of 10 people. Talk about it with action verbs that helps you articulate your accomplishment better. And lastly, tailor your accomplishments according to the job you're applying for. This is the topic we picked up in the last video as well. Read your job description and think about the keywords that exist. And then use those keywords as a way of highlighting your accomplishment. By following these steps, you can for sure make your resume stand out. And you can land your dream job by standing out in front of all the other candidates. You can always see such videos on the app. See you next time.